Thank you so much for joining us for our podcast here first. It is a podcast designed to help you, the people at Chester First Baptist Church, to know what's going on and to share with you our God-driven ideas. And this this week, as always, I'm joined with Dr. Mike Fogerson. What's up? And our first time ever, our special guest, Don Barry. Well, hello there. And so this week we're going to be talking about Mother's Day, you know, because today's Friday. We're recording it on Thursday, but, you know, we'll release it on Friday. And then this Sunday we're having Mother's Day. So tell us a little bit about that, Dan. What do you we got planned? We are doing a, uh, it's always a big service on Mother's Day. Mother's Day is always a very well-attended service. Uh, so we've got some some good music planned. We've got some good video vignettes planned. Uh, the message is going to be out of Psalm 137, uh, by, the, by the rivers of Babylon where we sat down. And uh, I was talking about the people being in bondage and how they forgot their song. They forgot how to be engaged with God. And that's what we're going to be talking about. It's going to be a really neat Mother's Day message, uh, but it's, it's for fathers, mothers, anybody who has uh, kids in their life that they, they pour into. It's going to be good. Kelly's going to be singing a special song. We've got a special... Tub's going to be doing uh, Rivers, Rivers of, of Babylon. I heard that song for the first time last night. How do you like it? It was awesome. Or, Don, had you ever heard Rivers? That's old school, buddy. That is very old that's school. old school, yeah. They were wearing costumes and stuff. The video that I saw, of it, who was it that did it? Do you have any idea? Boney M, I think, or M. Boney. Okay, it was something like that. I mean, it was it was weird. It was kind of cool. It was yeah. awesome. It's a good song. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Baby dedication, you're doing that this Sunday. That will be the tail end of that service, the baby dedication services. As of right now, I've got two parents. I think I have uh, Whitney and uh, Ricky. Uh and I have, who else? Oh, uh, Kelsey and Luke are going to be dedicating babies. Uh, got a few other folks that, that may be, but it'll be at the very end of the service. And if families can't come for whatever reason, maybe they're across the country or sick or whatever in the hospital or, or at home, uh, they can watch it online uh, at uh, 1030 on Sunday. That, that, will be, uh, that will be on our broadcast, our live stream. And it'll be top-notch quality because we have a brand new system, yes, we do. a brand new system, and that's why Brother Don's here uh, to talk about, about our our new live streaming system. Uncle Don, how about you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it's it is top of the line system. It's it's called Bird Dog. Um, the, what we had before was a TriCaster, and a TriCaster was great, and it's what a lot of the a lot of churches use, a lot of television stations use. But it was probably overkill for us because you had to have somebody that was really knowledgeable operating it all the time. And there was so much that we could have done with it that we didn't because we just didn't know. So we went to this bird dog. We were able to sell our old TriCaster. We were able to sell our old camera. And what we now have is a three camera setup. We have a camera at the very front of the church. Uh, you might see it. It hangs down from the beam. We have one on the right-hand side of the church. Be the library side. The library side. And then we have one, if you look up as you walk in the, the foyer, uh, come through the little vestibule and look up, you'll see the third camera. Mm-hmm. And that's going to probably be our main camera that we use, but we'll also do side shots with the others. And what that's going to help us do is uh, we had 344 people watch our last Sunday's service at some point. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't know if they stayed with us the whole hour, but they watched and tuned in for some time of it. And uh, that's that's quite a ministry. And it has grown uh, from using cell phones and uh, trying to... (laughs) We had poor sound for a while. We've made upgrades to that, and it's working really well. Last last Sunday's service, if you haven't watched it, uh, it is top notch. I've watched it probably four times. I'm just amazed at it. And I see you back there. You were like a kid in the candy shop. Oh, I you, was. you were enjoying yourself. I was, and I mean, I, I tried to stay focused. But whoever does it's going to have to stay focused on it because you really got to stay with what's going on. Right. And one thing that I want to say is the camera that is right, right in the center. You know, right when you walk in. Mm-hmm. You know, the camera that we used to have was back in the booth. It was like right to the right. But it's just crazy how much better of a shot it is because it's dead in, like dead straight with the pulpit. You know, exactly. so I love that. And there's no vibration. There's no, you know. Uh, it doesn't shake we when at. people walk. When people walked on the platform. There was a, a vibration. And that's all gone. There's no jerkiness to operating it because uh, it's all uh, remote. And uh, 
Don, why would you think it was important that the church invested that kind of uh, commitment and that kind of resources for an online uh, platform that that is ex- top of the line, as you said? What? Why do you think that was a big deal for the church to do that? Well, I think you know, COVID. If it taught us anything, it taught us that this is a way to reach people who aren't walking through the front door of the church, and. Uh, This thing is, as I said, it's top notch, and it will serve us for years to come, and uh, or the next six months, or the next six, right? No, but yeah, but it it is it is is really good equipment, and we had it professionally installed by Shibble Vine down in uh, shout out shout out Shibble Vines. They've been been awesome. They have been awesome, and they worked well with us. And any problem that we might have, they'll be up here immediately to help us out. Sure. I think that uh, by the church investing in that, we're we're telling people we we've got more than one door for you to to connect with us from. Right. Not just you you know we we would love to have you here. We want you connected to the body in some way. Uh, And for lots of people, the first way is not going to be walking through the doors at Seven Nineteen State Street. It's going to be through our Facebook page or our, our website. Our website. Uh, it's just another tool we get to use to present the good news of Jesus. Yeah, we can preach to the whole world from our fingertips right now. Right on. The whole, right. whole world. Right. And the message is so important, and God is so good. He deserves more than a Samsung cell phone. Right. You know? Um, and to be honest, I mean, it's the only message that really matters. So you might as well present it in a way where people can hear it and see it. And um, I'm not saying God can't use, you know, uh, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and a stick figure to get a point across. He can. Uh, but he can also use what we're doing. So it's all awesome. That's right. We don't, yeah. want it, we don't want it to look good because we're good, but because he's good. That's right. Exactly. And with the three camera approach to it, it won't be boring. Uh, you know, you won't have one shot and that's it. And, and you're watching somebody move around and talk. This will be a little bit more involved. We also can, we also, and we did that this last week, we can uh, get the crowd, the, the congregation. Yeah, that was cool. And so we made this week, Dad and I, we made a bumper video for your upcoming series. It'll be the Sunday after Mother's Day. <coughs> Latte with the Lord. Latte with the Lord. I want to say the 15th, or is it the 16th? 15th and 16th, and then the next week. The next week, okay. And we made a bumper video. It was for Latte with the Lord, obviously, and we made that. We want to show it to you guys. It seems like everybody has an idea of who Jesus is. After all, he's the number one historical person in history that people would like to talk to over a coffee. And you know what better way to get to know somebody than over a hot cup of joe? Well, Latte with the Lord is a two-part special that will help us know more who Jesus says he is. Making him a part of your world is the first step in the right direction to your better life. A better life, loving God and loving people and living like Jesus. Join us for Latte with the Lord the next two weekends. Oh, I almost forgot. The coffee, it's on the house. The idea of that video came from the beginning of a sermon that John MacArthur was preaching on on Jesus and he he started off by telling what all these different religions thought of Jesus and I thought man that's a great introduction because you know Islam says Jesus is one thing Judaism says Jesus is another thing uh, Scientology says he's one thing you can just go on down the line uh, but the important thing is you know who do you think Jesus is that's important but the bigger thing is who does Jesus say he is 
and we're going to be looking at that uh, two two weeks. It's a special sermon. It's just two parter, uh, but it's really the doctrine of Christology, the nature and the person and the mission of Jesus. So um, it's it's going to be a neat message. I'm I'm excited about it. I am too. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you to thanks for having me. Thank you to Don Barry for being here. That was great. Thanks for that being was, here, Don. It was sure. awesome. I hope that you enjoyed. A big shout out to Chester First Baptist Church for putting this podcast on. Their vision is to love God, love people, and they're trying to live like Jesus. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next week. Remember, you heard it here first.